Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Mom Plans. I have another planner video for you today, and today is going to be my mid-year memory planner flip through. So I know this is going to be posted in October, well past mid-year, but I just finished my spreads through the end of June. As always, really hoping to get caught up, but I'm just glad that I have gotten half the year done in here. That is my monthly spreads as well as my weekly memory spreads, and I'm really excited to show them to you. I I love doing these memory spreads. They're my creative outlet, and I get to use stickers, and I just love them. So I'm excited to show them to you. This is my Sadie Stickers Coil Bound Vertical Planner. And here's a look. I do have all my bases done through October, so it does look a little bit thicker past, you know, mid-year, but it's just mid-year completely done. Bases the second half through October there. She's getting pretty chunky. So I did want to show you here at the front, I do have all of my kits filled in that I have used. So we will be going over January through June here. All of these spreads are done, and... Got a nice three months to catch up, as well as October, so definitely going to try and get caught up, but excited to show you all of these. So let's flip to January. So my January monthly, this is unfortunately a shop that is now closed. This was Lexi Kylie Design. Um, I really hope she's doing well. She was having some health issues and she closed her shop, so... I hope she is doing well. I loved this kit. It was just very simple winter vibes, and I love the colors. So that is my completed monthly memory spread. And then this first weekly spread, I believe this is Paper Trail Plans. I need to put a... Oh, this is Sadie Stickers, Navy Winter. So this was a gold foiled kit with some really pretty um, pops of this dark blue. I really love it. That is a pretty fun winter spread. Moving on to the next. Let's see. This is my spoiled planner. This was called Warm Blankets. This is a silver foiled kit. Again, so pretty. I love the green and pink in this one. It's definitely like non-traditional winter colors, but then you've still got some of the winter art in the kit. Next, this one is Lemon and Honey. This was fully booked, so not a winter-themed kit, but I thought the blue went well um, with, you know, a winter theme, and I just love a good book spread. So I did pull in silver foil with this one. This was an unfoiled kit, but I added some um, box overlays and then pulled in silver foil. Super pretty. Oh, this one I got my, my newest tattoo. All right, next, this is Sticker Guru. This is Cardinal Song, another silver fold kit. I love sil I love silver for the winter. And the, all the red in this one definitely gave me Christmas vibes, but it still was um, good, you know, winter kit, and I wanted to use it. I think the kit was actually like hollow sparkle foil, and I just pulled in silver foil to go with it. Now moving into February, my February monthly kit. This is Sadie Stickers. It's rose gold. I do love rose gold for February and Valentine's Day. And I just love how this looks. It is so pretty. This is when Galentine's with a plan was. So much fun. And my first um, weekly kit, this was Tailor Made Creative. I actually got this kit at the year previous Galentine's with a plan, so I used it for this year's Galentine with a plan weekly. And this one was a gold foiled kit, pulled in lots of gold and pink. So pretty. I loved using this. This is the first time I had used this shop as well. Next, this is Letters to Apollo. This was called Old Soul, another silver foiled kit. And just this was like a really nice, it could honestly be a transition to spring, but I just liked how soft it was, thought it worked well for February. I did pull in some heart deco to kind of give it that February feel. Next spread, this is Shop Jessica Hearts. This one was called Reading Night In. I love this one. It's the second year that I used it, and I pulled in gold foil. This was an unfoiled kit. I pulled in some overlays and lots of gold foil. This was the week of Valentine's Day, which I actually had pink eye, which was not fun at all, but at least the spread turned out cute. 
And then the last full week of February, this was Nikki Plus 3. This was her Be Mine kit. So another just perfect Valentine's Day kit. This was a gold foiled kit. And again, lots of pink and gold foil in this spread. Super sweet. So that was it for February. Moving into March. My March monthly, this is Jessica Hearts. I loved these colors. So it's got some really bright greens and purple. And then I got the silver overlays from Jessica and then pulled in, of course, silver in the spread. I love a good monthly memory spread. It's just so pretty. So Moving into the first weekly, this first weekly is from Letters to Apollo. This was called Coquette, and it was a light gold foiled kit. Again, I love the pink and gold foil. Super pretty. Then next, this is Sticker Guru. This was the Coffee and Books kit. Like I said, I love a good bookish theme kit, and I love these colors. These colors were really fun, the blues and greens, and I pulled in gold foil with it. It actually is a gold foiled kit, and then I pulled in more gold foil. Next, this is Sadie Stickers. This was her January mystery. She actually gave this to me at Galentine's with a plan, and it's a peach themed. It's so pretty and it is a gold foiled kit. I love these light peach colors with the green and the gold foil. So pretty. And then is this the last? No. This is another weekly spread in March. So this one is Missy Meow Folklore. This was one of her older kits that she released overstock I believe. So I picked it up and it was a gold foiled kit. I pulled in more gold foil. And um, this is when I'm starting to transition to spring kits. So now for the last spread in March, this was Easter week, and this was um, the Pretty Pink Co. It was called Sweet Bunny. I actually bought this as a de-stash from someone, so this was my first kit from the Pretty Pink Co. And this spread, this kit was so just sweet and really light colors, and it had gold foil. So I pulled in more gold foil with it for Easter. Actually, I just realized I did a mixed metal moment here. Did not even realize it. Up at the top, I did silver deco and then gold throughout the kit. Really pretty. I love how that looks. And I forgot, this may be my only mixed metal spread thus far this year. So that was it for March. Moving into April. April monthly, this was a Miss and Meow. Again, I love the purple. So pretty. This was another gold foil. Perfect for spring. The first weekly kit, this was JK Creates Co. This was called Sage Bloom. Look at all that green with the gold foil. So this was a gold foiled kit and I pulled in, of course, more gold icons. Really pretty. This was the week of my dad's 60th birthday. So fun. And then, don't even have to look. We know this is the Crafty Banana. This is her spring kit. I love her scene kits. And the spring one is just so pretty with these flowers. So this is an unfoiled spread, unfoiled kit. Um, and I just love Crafty Banana Deco, her kits, the colors. I love it all. So, so perfect. And for this next week in April, this was um, Sadie's stickers. This was called Dirt. So again, another really pretty spring. You got greens, and this was a silver foiled kit. Pulled in more silver foil, and I love the deco and how I did it. Pretty simple up here. Really pretty. I love a good Sadie Stickers kit. Now, for the last full week of April, this is another Sadie Sticker kit. Did not realize I used these back to back. This one is called Perennial. So pretty. This one is gold foil, again with those pretty greens. And I like how I did the washi up here at the top and pulled in some foil. That's pretty. So that was the last full week of April. Moving into May, which May is my birthday month, and this monthly was Miss and Meow. I love these colors up here and these florals. This was a gold foiled monthly kit, and like I said, this was my birthday month, so it was really fun. I love how this turned out. Um, we did a lot of fun stuff this month. For the first weekly spread, this one is this one is my spoiled planner. It was called what what is it called? Field of Flowers. And this is a gold foiled kit. Pulled in more gold foil. Again, I did the floral washi up at the top. I love how that looks. 
just a little nice soft kit. This next one, this was um, Simply Beautiful Plans. Um, this was Wildflower. Again, this was a kit that I bought as a D stash. I had never bought anything from this shop before, but I loved these bright colors. This was Mother's Day, and I loved pulling in um, all of the bright colors. It was a gold foiled kit, so I pulled in lots of gold foil, and I love how this one turned out. Super fun. This is my birthday spread. So this one was from My Spilled Planner. It was called The Lakes, and purple is one of my favorite colors, so I always try and do a purple kit for my birthday. So this one was perfect. And it was with rose gold, which I don't typically do rose gold um, in the spring or specifically for my birthday, but I loved how it paired together with this kit. Really pretty. So I love how that spread turned out. Next, this one is from Nikki Plus 3. This is called Honey Charm. I am a sucker for any like honey bee themed kits for the spring. It's my favorite. I love the yellow and pink with the gold foil in this one. I do have a discount code for Nikki Plus 3. I will have that in the description if you want to pick up anything from her. Her monthly and weekly kits are just stunning. I love them. And then I did do this cute little window scene here for the monthly section. Love that. So that was the last full week of May. So let's turn to the June monthly, and this June monthly was an interesting one for me. This was from Nikki Plus 3, but I picked up her, um, like, unstructured monthly kit, so I actually made the top bars, made everything work between pulling deco that I had in my stash, foil that I had in my stash, and then, of course, um, what came with her kit, so it was significantly smaller um, monthly kit format than I typically use. So I got to really push my creative um, abilities here with this spread, but I really like how it turned out. So I pulled in a ton of deco that I had, pulled in a lot of foiled um, honey comb and bees and birds and all that kind of stuff. And I really like how it turned out. It's simple. It's not near as full as some of my other monthly spreads, but it was really cool to use a different kit format and make this kit up as I went. So, let's go to the first week of June, which June actually wasn't here until this Saturday, but that is okay. So this was another kit from Sadie Stickers. This one is called Sun Rays. I definitely use gold foil more than any other color. I love the pinks and greens here. Really, really pretty. Now, first full week of June, this was Miss Meow Strawberry Season. And this was the uh, weekend of my son's fourth birthday party. And we call my son our berry boy. He loves berries. So I thought it was perfect to use this strawberry kit. This is another gold foiled kit pulled in gold foil. And I love how this looks. So pretty. I, I love a good Missy Meow kit as well. Now, this was the week of my son's actual birthday, as well as Father's Day. So this kit is from Nikki Plus 3. This was called Lake Mode. And I did use a little box extender here. I don't use them a ton, but on days that we have a lot going on, I do like to pull them in. So this was my son's actual birthday, and then, like I said, Father's Day. This was a gold foiled kit, and of course, Pulled in more gold foil, and I love the blues, purples, and greens in this one. I thought it was perfect. My husband loves fishing, so I thought lake theme was perfect for Father's Day. My son also loves going fishing, so the theme was perfect. And then for me, I loved the colors, and the artwork is beautiful. So, moving on. Whew, this was such a kit. So this was from Crest Press. It's called Cherry, and I, for the first time ever decided to do a um, underlay spread. So I did not write on the paper at all on the spread. Um, I did full underlays from Crest Press. It came with this kit. And I also color blocked. So this was just completely out of the norm for me. But I love how it turned out. I don't know that I'm ever going to invest in the overlays or the underlays, but since they came with the kit, I wanted to try it. I love how it looks. It was a lot of work to figure out how to use the colors for the color blocking, 
how to always use a box when I needed to write <laughs> and then when I had scripts I could use like the flags it was fun it was it made me think about the spread a lot more than normal but I love it I really do and this was a hollow foiled kit um, and then I pulled in silver foil a little bit honestly I may have only used the hollow foil that came with it you know what I think so. I think I used a full hollow spread. This is the first time in years I've done a full hollow spread. I usually just pull in silver, but I think since there was so much foil with the kit, it was like two full sheets of foil icons and scripts, I used all hollow. So I love how that one turns out. And then the last spread of June. This is Nicole Alexia Designs. This is called Ohana. I love Lilo and Stitch. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. My son has gotten into it, so I was excited to use this. This is also the week that we left to go to the beach, so I thought the beach theme was perfect. I love the colors. It was a gold foil kit. I love all the characters on there and the foil. Of course, pulled in more gold foil. I pulled in lots of beach and shell deco up at the top. Love this. This is another shop that is unfortunately now closed. I think she may have printables now, but her print, her printed uh, kits are now gone. So excited that I got to use this, and that was it. That is everything in the first half of the year in my memory planner. I am glad that I have all those spreads completed. I am really wanting to get caught up. So July, August, September, and we're already halfway through October. I got a lot to catch up on. Like I said, I do have all the bases done in here, so I will have some stuff to show you, but I am really excited to have the first half of the year done. I'd love to hear what you thought of these spreads, if we used any of the same kits. Also, if you have any shop suggestions, please always leave those in the comments. I'm always looking for new shops to use and support, and I just love love my memory spreads they're just so fun to me and i really hope y'all enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you are not already please subscribe to my channel i do try and upload videos for you every single month um, and if you have video suggestions i'd love to hear those below i hope y'all enjoyed i really appreciate you watching and i will see you guys next time bye